Hello everyone, it is Heather from the Boys and Girls Club of Hamilton and I am back today with another fit tip for you. Um, so just before we dive right into it and I demonstrate some of these exercises, I want to just explain the importance of them and also some safety considerations so that you guys are staying as safe as possible when you're doing these activities in your own home. So first and foremost, today we are going to be doing um, some exercises that will help to improve your balance. This is just really important whether you're walking around your home, your apartment, wherever it is you live, or if you're out in the community. So really working to reduce falls through improvement of your balance as well as the strength in your legs. Um, so that's the main focus for today. And then secondly, I just want to... Um, reiterate the importance of being as safe as possible when we're doing these exercises. So please be aware that I am giving you some tools, but I would like you to only do what your body is able to do. So if, if I say try to do two to three sets, but after one you're feeling really tired or a little bit off balance, please take a break and then try again later or try again tomorrow. You just want to push your body to an appropriate level. And the second thing I want to mention is how important it is to have, for these specific exercises, to have a chair where you can grab the back of it or a kitchen counter or a table that is at the appropriate height that you're able to use to further support your balance while we work through these activities. So as long as you have appropriate footwear, um, so no socks on floor where it's going to be slippery, um, perhaps you have your running shoes or some closed toe shoes on, and you have a space that is open enough as well as has a chair or a counter, something that you can hold on to, you are ready to get started. So let's get right into the very first exercise. Okay, everyone, so we are starting out with our calf raises. So this will help to strengthen those backs of your lower leg. So here you can see I am using a chair for stability. I'm going up onto my tippy toes, holding it for one, two, and back down, repeating. I recommend that you do about two to three sets, but again, it's completely up to you. Okay, and then moving on to number two, you will see that we are doing... A one foot stance. We have lots of variations. You can hold your foot out as you see now, a few inches off the floor. You can bend your knee, bring it up towards your chest, or you can bring it back towards your bum. And I recommend that you hold it for about five to ten seconds. Again, you'll see at the end there the option to go up on the tiptoes of your base leg, and that just further enhances your balance. But please choose the option that you see to be most fit for your um, a balance level. And again, please ensure that you're doing it on both feet. So five to 10 seconds on one leg and then switch and performing two to three sets. Okay, moving right along to number three. For those of you who have taken an aqua fit class, you would be familiar with this one. In the pool, we call it rocking horse or rock the boat. So here you are leaning forward onto one leg, putting your weight on it and lifting up that back leg. Please keep in mind that when you're doing this, you do need to spend some time switching from one leg to the other. So even if you are only able to actually complete the exercise for three or four times, totally okay as long as you do the same thing on the other leg. Just because that front leg, that weight bearing leg is getting a lot more um, stress put on it, so we want to make sure that you are not overworking one leg while underworking the other. And again, I, as always, I recommend doing about eight to ten, and um, just a, uh, on each side, and then um, one to three. Okay, sets. and then finally, I'm going to have you practice walking in a straight line, doing your toe to heel, toe to heel toe-to-heel walking. Um, as you can see in the video, you can either practice with your arms straight out to your sides like an airplane or down at your sides. Obviously, um, if you require assistance or uh, greater stability, please reach your arms out or reach them onto something to be able to hold on to. And again, if you have tiling in your house, you can follow that in order to help guide you along a straight line. Um, or in a crack in a driveway, something like that, in the sidewalk, and I would practice doing that for about five to six feet, turn around, and try coming back. 
All right, so I hope that those three, four exercises were helpful to you and that you're able to spend some time this week working through them. And I will see you all next week for your next fit tip. Have a great week.